Today is February 16th. Our first to doodle that's not review is about scoots and what kind of scoots. They're often called decimal point scoots. And here is a review of what we just did. That if I multiply by 10 or 100 or 1,000, it scoots the decimal point, one, two, or three. And it's to the right because it's getting bigger. If I had $123.45 and somehow six tenths of a cent because I'm at a gas station, and I earned that 10 times, I'd have more money. So times 10 makes things bigger. That's the bigger direction. If I divide by 10, it's the same scoot, one for 10, two for 100, three for 1,000, but I go in the other direction. I get smaller. If I had to share my money among 10 people, we would get less. We'd each get $12 and change. So times 10 hundred goes to the right, as many scoots as the zero is your shortcut, and divided by 10 hundred is as many scoots to the left as you have zeros. This green box says we should realize that really every decimal, every digit scoots, that this six is six ones. And if I scoot it once this way, oh, how do I do that, by the way? I'd have to pretend that it's a zero there, because there really is. If I was wealthy and had that much money, then I don't have any change in my pocket. I just have $123,456 somehow. But I could also write it as that many dollar bills and no change. So you can put the period in some zeros without changing anything. If I did a decimal point scoot, that makes a zero appear on the end. That six is no longer six ones. Now it's six tens. It's not six, it's 60. It just looks like a six, but really it means 60. So every digit scoots. So keep that in mind. The next slide said, if we multiply by something that's tiny, that's less than one, a 10th, a hundredth, a thousandth, the scoots happen the same way, but backwards. It's like we're dividing. If I have a 10th of a cake, it's smaller than if I had the whole cake. And then we talked about the rule. How many zeros you have is how many scoots. How many zeros you have is how many scoots. However, some people, <coughs> excuse me, write the decimals without a leading zero in the ones column. If you do that, then the rule of the how many zeros is how many scoots doesn't work anymore because you're not writing one of the zeros. So just pay attention to that. Then we did some practice. We can finish up over the weekend. Moving on to what we haven't actually seen live yet. So scoots are a great tool in our toolbox. Why? Because we talked about percent, and percent means out of 100. And in division, that's divided by 100. And we just saw that dividing by 100 is really easy. It's just two scoots to the left. You don't need a calculator for that. Just scoot twice to the left. So when we see the percent symbol, we can think that's 47 out of 100. That's 47 divided by 100. And what is that? That's 47 with two scoots one, two, to get 0.47. So we can change a percent into the decimal format for the same amount with two scoots to the left. Similarly, if we started with a decimal, but wanted to talk about a percent, someone asked us, how, what percent did I gain weight during the pandemic or something like that? Then I can make a decimal into a percent. If I had just five, I can't just put a percent on it. That changes the number. This, and point oh, I'm sorry, not five, point oh five. If I had point oh five, I can't just write a percent on it. That changes the number. That means divided by a hundred. And I can't just divide by a hundred whenever I want. So if I put that percent symbol on, I have to pay for it. 
I have to do something that's the opposite of it so that I get back to where I started. So the opposite of two scoots to the left would be two scoots to the right. So I get a five with a decimal point right there, and then I can put my percent symbol on. So this trick we just saw, you can go out of percent format with two scoots to the left, or you could go into percent format with two scoots to the right. We abbreviate RIPLOP, which stands for right into percent, left out of percent. And RIPLOP doesn't say scoot twice. We just have to remember it's twice. But it's always twice, because percent always means out of 100. And 100 always meant two scoots to the left, two zeros. So we will use RIPLOP all the time. Why are we going to use RIPLOP a lot in the future? Because whoever invented percent on calculators didn't do a good job. Different calculators might have a percent key, but it does different things based on what kind of math you're doing and different calculators, the percent key behaves differently. So it is just a kind of a needless risk. It is so easy to scoot twice or to scoot twice that we'll always want to take any percents in our problems and make them decimals to use the calculator. The calculators handle decimals without any chance of mistakes unless you type it in wrong. And that's just, it's easy. Decimals always work the same. It is so much easier to do that and more reliable than trying to figure out how the percent key in your calculator works. And then lastly, can you do RIPLOP? Can I take 3%? Is that going to be right into percent or a left out of percent to make it a decimal? I have the percent. So I'm trying to get out of percent. So let's go left out of percent. One, two. And what happens when I go past a number? I have to keep moving the decimal point. What do you think I should put in the spot? Yeah, someone's drawing on the screen a zero. So 0 0.03 is the same as 3%. So you can try these and we'll talk about them again on Tuesday when we start class. Mm -hmm. Or we might talk about them right now, but the recording can catch up later. <laughs>